This video was made in collaboration with Flow Sports. With the new partnership with NASCAR Root Series, you're not going to want to miss out on all the live action. ARCA, Pinties, Modified, and Weekly Races will all be featured throughout 2022. Use my links below to sign up and watch the future generation of NASCAR. Now, enjoy the video. Where did he come from? White flag is in the air. This is the last lap. Andy Hillenberg, half a car length, three feet. Out of turn two, we'll pull to the inside. Devane is his Mark draft partner. Like keep it right on the bottom, Frank. Spotter telling Kimmel, keep it on the bottom, keep it on the bottom, make him go high around you. Turn three. And Hillenberg drives it in there. Hey, Frank, He's on the inside, they're on the outside. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Three wide, they are door to door for the stripe. Who will it be? Harris Devane. And Harris Devane takes the win. There's contact, Hillenberg spins in turn one. Here they come by the line. He gets a good run off the corner with those fresh tires, and that's how close it was, folks. As they have been all race, they remain side by side, lined up two by two, banging up front. Top four all glued together. Smith and Graf in the front row. Teammates lined up on the inside. Zane Smith and Creed. That's Creed in the white car. On the bottom in row two. Self, the Daytona winner in the green and white Sinclair car up top. Oh, they're banging together. The front two check out just a bit. And Smith and Graf are still glued together. Does Graf have enough fuel to get there? He needs a big push. Creed looking to find space on the bottom below the yellow line. Gets back up in line. Graf still hanging on. Williams comes to the bottom. Top two to the line. Even. Look at this, Phil. Joe Graf Jr. on the outside. What a great job both these young men did. Look at that margin of just. It's almost too close to call. Ty Dillon closing in now. Bobby Gerhardt still on the outside, trying to get a draft, trying to make it nine wins for his career. Ty Dillon looks to the outside. He's got to do something. It opens up the bottom for Hudson. Here they come out of turn number four. Kimmel, the closest to the start finish line. Dillon makes his move to the outside as they close in on the trioval. Does he have enough time? Here comes Kimmel through the trioval. Here comes Dillon at the stripe. It's Ty Dillon winning this one. How about that? He used the five car of Bobby Gerhardt for momentum. And down the back stretch, they go sideways. Back about sixth place was Charleston, I believe. I believe that was Brett Hudson. Hudson in the, in the just zero behind nine, him in got, the 09. Got turned completely sideways and saved it. Into turn three and four for potentially the final time. Brandon McReynolds in front of Chris Windham trying to hold on. Coming out of turn number four. Windham's look at the gas. run. Look at the run by Bobby We're Gerhardt. On gas. Gerhardt on the outside. Four wide as they come into the trioval. Gerhardt coming through the trioval. Gerhardt. Trouble as they pass across the start finish line. And all sorts of cars out of fuel. Great variation in speed. Somebody got together. I'm telling you, he is getting ready to run 135 miles on this tank of fuel. Jeremy Clements has made his way out of turn number two. He has one turn to go before he will win his first ever ARCA Remax Series race. He makes his way out of turn number three. Does he have enough fuel? He's it out looks of gas. as though he ran out, out of gas. gas coming out of three. And guess who will win the race? Michael McDowell will win as Jeremy Clements runs out coming out of turn number three. Can you believe that? Here comes Ty Gibbs working his way off at turn four. He'll be looking at the checkered flag. Ty Gibbs picking up the win in the Arizona Lottery 100. Now our attention turns to Jake Drew. There's Jake in the number nine. He's got Parker Chase directly behind him. That is the position that could cost Jake Drew that championship. Here comes Parker Chase making a run at it on the final lap. Daniel Dye in the mix as well. He's not going to make it happen. Jake Drew across the start finish line. He's going to clinch the West Series championship. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at the points. Somewhere on that final lap, Jesse Love found a position. It's tied atop the leaderboard. If that's the case, 
your champion will be Jesse Love in the 16 car. Let's take a look at that final lap if we have it. On the final lap, folks, Jesse Love in the 16 car getting around Trevor Huddleston. That is the pass that is going to give Jesse Love the 2021 Arkham and Art Series West Championship. Jesse Love and Jake Drew finishing in a tie. And Jesse Love winning the tiebreaker. Where will the move be made? Will it be coming out of turn number four? We're about to find out. Will they get a run? Chad Hockenbrough runs in the third spot. Tom Hessert in fourth. Steve Blackburn back in fifth. It almost looks like nobody's close enough to anybody to, to be much help. Now it looks like Hockenbrough is going to pull up on the back of Brandon McReynolds. Hockenbrough gives the 32 a shove. Coming out of turn number four. Will it be enough? As they come out of four, trying to get to the outside. Lopped to try to make the car as wide as he can. McReynolds makes the pass as they go through the triangle. Can he hang on until they get to the stripe? McReynolds will win in Talladega. He's really been able to drive up underneath them, but you see Joey drives it right down in the corner. Miller gets right into the back of Kimmel. Yep. Gets into it. Oh! He gets into Miller, and Miller goes around on the front stretch. Wow. We stay green and keep going. Yep. Oh, that is a horrible break for Joey Miller. Tough bait for Miller. Looks like David Reagan just got in the back of him. Nothing, nowhere he can really go. Now back up to the front of the battle. Here they come, and look at Allgaier and Venturini side by side as we come racing through the smoke. Frank Kimmel has one to go. And here comes David Reagan, who started on the pole. Oh, he the back, to the back of, of Kimmel. Him. And then to the touch. bottom. Here comes Reagan to the bottle, and Kimmel throws him right to the grass. Wow. And here comes Billy oh, Venturini. Man. But the yellow is out. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. No checkered flag here. Looks like we're going to go green. Green, white, checkered. Yes, sir. Billy Venturini could be the The big green benefit. and white are out. Here we go. It's a one-lap shootout. Reagan can't catch Kimmel off the line. Can he run him deep into three? He's on his backside. He'll have Not to close do it. enough. Coming off a of turn four. Reagan still tries to get inside. Oh, he looks to the bottom. Can't get there. Oh. And Frank Kimmel gets the win. Ontario with a very smart move to fall in line into second before he lost that spot being so high. Now he's going to have to see if he can get up on that back bumper and loosen him up. Can he get it done and drive underneath him? That might be the move right there. White flag he leads is out. the stripe one with one to, to go. go. Wow, Austin Terrio, great move. Four car battle for the lead. Half a lap to go. Oh, hurts a little bit sideways. Anchors on the back bumper. Terrio tries to loosen him up. He does. He pulls back up beside him. Zane Smith spins out. Terrio wins it. Oh, big and hit. a big wreck back behind him involving Zane Smith. Holy smokes, what a wild finish here. One to go. White flag is up for Taylor Gray. He flashes across the start finish line. He's got two car lengths in hand over Sammy Smith, who's feeling some heat there for Max Gutierrez down in turns one and two. Sammy Smith going to have one more shot at Taylor Gray down here in turns three and four. Can he get to him? Sammy Smith making a move. He's got the bumper to him. What's going to happen here off a of turn four? Three wide for the win. Give it to Max Gutierrez. Gutierrez steals the win at the stripe. Unbelievable finish. Max Gutierrez picking up the win here at New Smyrna Speedway. Ty Gibbs with a little bit of a run here in turn number one. I think it's going to have to come in turn number three. Powering off a turn two is where Gibbs has been so good. He dips a little bit lower than they are there, but I saw a little wiggle off the 18 in the rear. Ty Gibbs has got one more shot. Watch what he does in the middle of turns three and four. He closes the gap to the inside, goes Ty Gibbs. A little wiggle by Sam Mayer. Ty Gibbs to the lead. Ty Gibbs to the lead here at Gateway after three runner-up finishes. Ty Gibbs now a winner here in the Arkham Menard Series. Buster Graham in the 88 trying to go up high. Let these two race it out for the win. That slowed down Chris Buescher. Look how close Bowman is. Here comes Bowman. The final two turns. Entering turn number three. Bowman to the bottom of the racetrack. Buescher goes down to try to block. Both of them hard on the gas as they're coming out of turn number four. Buescher slides sideways. Here comes Bowman to the inside. Side by side. Door to door. Bowman to the bottom. It's Buescher winning at Michigan. Denise Single with the green flag in hand. It is out, and we are racing for a one-lap dash. And look, here we go, scrambling three wide down into turns one and two. There's some contact there. Hosevar is in to Joe Graff Jr. That's going to give Zane Smith the lead down the backstretch. 
Let's see what happens here as they go off into turns three and four. Look at Joe Graff to the inside. He's going to move Zane Smith out of the way. Side by side on a turn four. Who's it going to be? Wow. Joe Graff Jr. is your winner here at Berlin. Oh. oh, my goodness. What a finish. Who got a huge jump. Cedric with a great start here. Cole Custer right behind him. is Now he'll take a look at the inside. Oh. Turn one, a touch. He blows smoke off the front tires and blows turn number one. Takes Austin Cedric with him. Austin is going to be livid, and Cole Custer, with a huge mistake, gets back on the track. Yeah, Custer does get back on the racetrack very quickly, though he does fall to the tail of the field. Meanwhile, Cindric's still trying to get that 99 turned around and get back on course. Yeah, I think that's the only person that Cole did get around. And take a look at this. Are you kidding me? The 77 car of Dalton Sargent is leading this race from, I believe he restarted in 14th place and then blows turn five. Sergeant off the race course, Tiff nowhere to go in the 28. So one, two gets taken out. One, two gets taken out again. And now it looks like Austin Terrio is our leader on course. Henriksen also got into Tiff, so tore his car up back there. And <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. How does the 52 car has not been in the top five all day long end up leading on the last lap? Striven by Austin Terrio through the final turn with a huge gap. It's going to come up here and grab yet another win. An amazing effort here for the 52 car. Austin Terrio's fourth win on the season and stretches the points out after a crazy last lap shootout.